In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the catalytic converters on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. I'm gonna disconnect the connector for the O2 sensor. Just slide this lock up. That will pull out and then pull up on the tab, slide it out. This is the one on the driver's side. It's the inboard side of the frame. And disconnect the one that's attached to the transmission or the bracket near the transmission. Just pull the lock out. Disconnect the connector. And then we need to take the connector off. There we can use a trim tool or a screwdriver. And just slide the Slide it off. There you go. On the passenger side, you're gonna have the connectors on the outside of the frame. Just disconnect that lock. And slide the connector off. And this last one. I'll slide this connector off. Use a trim tool. You can pop the connector off or just slide. Just slide it just like that. You might have a little wire retainer right here. Just take those off. On the passenger side, the front O2 sensor, we need to remove that so that we can access the nuts. So use a 7 8 wrench or an O2 sensor socket. And pull that out. Now I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter socket. We'll take the nuts off. They go on the flange right there. There's three of them on each side. out. one right here you're going to need to disconnect in front of the flex pipe this connection right here this one's extremely rusty so you normally would use a 13 millimeter socket and take the bolt out and it should go up this one i'm just going to have to cut it off Now it's separated right there. Slide this off. There we go. That's separated. We're going to take these nuts out. That's out of the cross member that holds the transmission support. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Now underneath the transmission, we're gonna use a transmission jack and just support the transmission. You can see that the transmission is going up a little bit where the mount is so that the weight is off of that mount. Now we're gonna take that bracket down. We have to take these two bolts out on each side, the nuts and bolts using a 21 millimeter wrench on the back side and a 21 millimeter socket. Nuts off first. Slide the bolt. 
bolts out. I'm just gonna leave this one bolt in until I get the other ones out on the other side. Just temporarily, I'm gonna use a pull jack under the exhaust just to move it out of the way so I can access that bolt. nuts out in the bolts and then just grab the cross member I'll slide this bolt out and slide this one out and it slides right down now I'm just going to lower that pull jack and grab the exhaust Slide it back, slide it down, and it comes right out. Now you want to transfer over the O2 sensors to the new converter. This one we actually had to heat it up. Just use a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter. And take those out. Then you can do the same process for the rest. We're gonna take this clamp off right here. You can just take a straight blade screwdriver, this little area where you need to move this little pin, just pry that up and that'll slide off. Might have to bend it a little bit. And it comes right out. The new one doesn't have that extra tab, so we don't have to worry about that. Just slide that over just like that. That's good. Now take the O2 sensors, transfer them over. Make sure you put the O2 sensors in the correct locations. There's two front ones and two rear ones. And put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. Tighten these down. And with a O2 sensor socket, I'm going to torque this to 31 foot pounds. Do the same for the other ones. Except for the front one that goes near the donut seal on the passenger side, you want to leave that one out until the converter is in the vehicle. Now to put these two pieces together, you're going to need to get a clamp. This is a two and a half inch clamp. Just slide it in position. like that. Take the donut seal down, just grab it, pull it down, the new seal right here. Just line that up and push it on. And you want to take the catalytic converters, line those up, slide that in place, line the bracket up top. That bracket lined up and get the nuts started. On this side, you want to put a new seal right here. Slide this up. Let's hook these together. And put the nuts on. Uh, 
slide this in place. And then we'll tighten this down using a 13 millimeter socket. Just get that snug first. Once everything's in place, we'll tighten it down more. Then we're going to tighten up the nuts. Start on the driver's side, tighten this flange down first because this is the solid flange. tight. Now we're going to tighten this in order. Just go around, snug them all up evenly. And those are all tight. Now we'll tighten up the clamp. Use a 14 millimeter socket. Make sure that's tight. I'll just adjust this so that it fits on, fits on there right. And tighten it down. Good. I'm going to take the transmission mount, line this up, get those started. Tighten these down. Now I take the cross member, line this up. And I'll take two of the bolts. Get that one started there. And the other one over here. And I can at least let go of it. And then take the other bolts. Get all the nuts started. And tighten these down. transmission onto the support I take the two transmission mount nuts put these back get those started and tighten them down Snug. I'm going to take the connector to the O2 sensor, line that up, connect that, 
and lock it down. Then you want to slide that connector onto the retainer. It's a little bit higher. Lock that in place, and that should look like that. Then you would do the same with the other ones. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.